how can the answer be exactly 20? In fact, there's a typo in the title. It's meant to be exactly 25. And here's the question. In a college of 300 students, every student reads five newspapers. And every newspaper is read by 60 students. And we are going to find out the number of newspapers. All right, we have these options. And I'm going to show you guys twist to do it. The first way is the algebra way. Check this out. We see that we have 300 students and then each student reads five newspapers. So we have to find out the total amount of reading that is being filled. To do that, just multiply them. So 300 times five. And then right here, it says every newspaper is read by 60 students. So all we have to do is 60 right here times the number of newspaper that we need. So we can just go ahead and solve this equation. So if you do that, this is 1500 equals 60x. And then just divide both sides by 60. They cancel. And x will be 1500 divided by 60. That will be 25. And 25 means the number of newspapers. So that's it. This is C. Dandio. But of course, I know this right here might be a little bit too abstract because we are using algebra. So let me also explain like this. All right, check this out. Our goal is to find out the number of newspapers. And right here it says, every newspaper is read by 60 students. So imagine if we only have one newspaper. And let me write this down right here for you guys. This right here can satisfy 60 students. And of course, every student will just have to read that newspaper. So just say each reads that one, right? Now, if I multiply this by five, if we have a total of five newspapers, then in that case, how many students can we satisfy? Five times this we can satisfy 300 students. So let me just write this down as well. We can satisfy 300 students, but each student can only read how many? Reads still one, right? Still one, still one, because the first one for 60, and then the second one for another 60, and then the third one for another 60, and then so on, right? So five different newspapers, and each one is read by 60 different students, like that. Now, if I multiply this by five again, 25 newspapers, papers, this right here can satisfy how many students? Well, you don't want to multiply this by five. In fact, you want to multiply this by five. I would still like to satisfy 300 students. But now each student can read how many newspapers? Each student can read five different newspapers. So the answer is 25. And hopefully this right here is clear. That's it.